I'm working on an AC compressor for 2004 F-150. Uh, the reason why I had to change the uh, compressor is where the two halves are bolted together. Right in here there's an O-ring and the angle in which this is bolted to the block and it's down so low it's always getting splashed by the road salt and calcium that it actually uh, corroded down in this groove here and ate around the o-ring and it was leaking the second time I ran into this as you can see here where the um, where the casing uh, uh, eroded away here so my fix here's the new uh, compressor and what I do is that I coat the seam with JB weld this way now that that calcium can't get into the uh, into that groove and have the same thing happen again now another thing is with Ford they have these when the bolt goes through they have these cavities in here and what happens the water lays and it uh, corrodes the bolts and then you go to take it off and the bolts are rusted fast. Now when I was taking this AC compressor off, the one bolt snapped. So luckily there was enough bolt uh, sticking off from the block, I was able to get it out without too much grief. So besides, uh, I got the new, uh, the new factory bolts and I, I coat them up good with uh, a high grade anti-seize. And then these cavities I take this electrical putty, you can get this at Lowe's or any hardware store, it's relatively cheap and it doesn't harden. So I take this, after, after it's bolted on, I get this electrical putty and I jam it in the holes. See my philosophy is that Mother Nature does not like an empty space. So if you don't fill it with friendly material, Mother Nature is going to fill it with unfriendly material It's going to cause you grief later on if you ever have to take it apart. Uh, like I said, this is uh, this is my uh, remedy for fixing or, or dealing with corrosion. Now, normally in a, in a garage, when you're working on a customer's vehicle, you're not going to want to go through this extra time and expense because the customer is not, not going to want to pay for it. You just want to get the compressor on, get it running, and then it's out the door. And then a couple years later, if it rots out, well, it's not your problem. But for your own personal vehicle, I, I do some for, uh, preventive maintenance because I don't want the same thing happening again. And that's like with the bolt here, when I put this bolt, the new bolt on, it's all coated with a high-grade anesthesia. So that's my little tip for today.